Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, yes, we are, we are into the round of 32 of Gyoda Open 2023, whereby Aslan uh, Stephens will be facing Emiliana Arango. So in this video, I will tell you about their uh, carry profile, head to head encounter and prediction for upcoming game. Do like, subscribe. Yes, we are, both the players haven't been against each other in head to head, so they are open to play against each other. Seven single titles to Stephens while zero to Arango. So it's a huge difference between these two players in terms of single titles. Uh, no double title yet to both the players in their career. Stefan is a more experienced player with 360 wins and 261 losses in single matches. While Arango has only 178 wins and 120 losses in single matches. But the uh, conversion rate of winnings into titles of Stefan's is far better than Arango. In fact, Arango hasn't got any single or double title to her credit. Win losses and doubles again. Stephens is more experienced with 45 wins and 67 losses in double matches. While Arango has only 21 wins and 22 losses in doubles. Carry high strength achieved by Stephens is 3 while that of Arango is 166. So this will definitely be benefiting Stephens as she has got has reached the highest level of the game quite some time before. Current WTA rank. Yes, this shows the current form of the player. And obviously that is converted into the rank. That of Stephens is 38 while that of Arango is 180. So again a huge difference between these two players. And Stefan is in more confidence to win the upcoming games and game also. Both are young. Stephens 30 while Arango 22 years of age. Stephens born in USA while Arango in, born in Colombia. Both plays right handed. Here today record, yes, we are the shows the uh, current form of the players. No single as well as double title to both the players this year. Yes, off late record of Arango in single matches as well in, in doubles is better than that of Stephens with 38 wins and 23 losses in single matches Arango has this year. While Stefan has 24 wins and 19 losses in single matches this year. In doubles again, Arango has a better record year to date with 4 wins and 5 losses in double matches. While Stefan has only one win and five losses in doubles this year. So we are considering the overall profile of both the players. Apart from year-to-date record, all goes in favor of Solan Stephens in terms of carry highest rank, current WTA rank, uh, as well as uh, the single titles especially. And uh, obviously Stefan is more experienced in doubles as well as in single winnings. So I will definitely bet for Solan Stephens to win the upcoming game. But the player who will play better will be the winner. But it will be a definitely a close game because of late record of Orango is uh, better than that of Stephens. So we are looking forward for this great game of tennis. Uh, do like, subscribe, post comment.